a cerebrovascular accident commonly called a CVA or stroke, is a sudden disruption of blood flow to the brain requiring emergency medical treatment. Rapid diagnosis and treatment is critical to prevent the death of brain cells that can result in long-term disability or death. Strokes are common and predominantly seen in individuals over the age of 65. Risk factors for strokes include atherosclerosis, hypertension, atrial fibrillation, deep vein thrombosis, and certain genetic conditions. Strokes are classified into two types called ischemic and hemorrhagic. Ischemic strokes are the most common type of stroke caused by blockages that obstruct blood flow and arteries in, or to the brain. Blockages occur due to thrombus formation within an artery, or from an embolus traveling from elsewhere in the body. Hemorrhagic strokes are caused by ruptured blood vessels in the brain. As blood accumulates into the brain tissue or subarachnoid space, it causes increased intracranial pressure that damages brain cells. A commonly used mnemonic for assessing individuals suspected of experiencing a stroke is called BIFAST, which stands for balance, eyes, face, arm, speech, and time. For example, does the person have a sudden loss of balance? Have they lost vision in one or both eyes? Does their face look droopy or uneven? Is one arm weak or numb? Is their speech slurred? Are they having trouble speaking or seem confused? In addition to these symptoms, clients experiencing a hemorrhagic stroke often say they are having the worst headache of my life. If any of these signs or symptoms are occurring, emergency assistance is required. Diagnostic tests performed for suspected stroke include CT scans to quickly differentiate between hemorrhagic and ischemic strokes and initiate rapid treatment. If a hemorrhagic stroke is ruled out with a CT scan, tests are performed to identify potential causes of an ischemic stroke. For example, a carotid Doppler ultrasound may be performed on the carotid arteries to assess for occlusion. Medical treatment for ischemic stroke may involve IV fibrinolytic therapy to dissolve clots if not contraindicated for that client. Because hemorrhagic strokes are often caused by extremely elevated blood pressure, treatment includes lowering blood pressure with IV antihypertensive medications and, in some cases, emergency surgery. Viruses play a pivotal role in recognizing stroke symptoms and obtaining rapid emergency assistance. During acute care of a client experiencing a stroke, nursing interventions include maintaining airway, breathing, and circulation, managing blood pressure, providing oxygen therapy, and ensuring appropriate positioning to decrease intracranial pressure. After a client experiences a stroke, rehabilitation continues throughout the convalescent period, relying on a collaborative effort of multidisciplinary team members including nurses, physical therapists, occupational therapists, and speech therapists, as well as case managers. Overall goals include improved mobility, achievement or improvement in self-care, relief of sensory and perceptual deprivation, prevention of aspiration, bowel and bladder continence, improved thought processes, optimization of communication, maintenance of skin integrity, and preventing complications or injuries. Nurses also support the psychosocial needs of the client and their family members as they learn how to cope with long-term impacts from a stroke. Patient education is crucial to prevent ischemic strokes. Nurses address modifiable risk factors such as smoking cessation, controlling hypertension, and encouraging healthy diet choices and exercises. For clients who are prescribed anticoagulants to prevent strokes, nurses provide health teaching on the purpose and side effects of these medications, especially regarding bleeding precautions. The effectiveness of nursing interventions for clients undergoing rehabilitative care post-stroke are evaluated based on achievement of overall goals and their specific identified outcomes. If goals or outcomes are not met, nurses collaborate with multidisciplinary team members to revise the plan of care to achieve these outcomes, prevent complications, and promote the client's optimal quality of life.